Okay, today's video is going to be a uh, video on just a, it's going to be a quick little tip on uh, different ways of finding out the location of an IP address. So you have someone's IP address or a server's IP address, and you're wondering where is this located in the world. Um, now, before I begin, I know a lot of people are going to be like, "Oh, there's plenty of websites you can go to, and you can type in, you know, IP addresses." Like, I'm just going to make one up here. I can go like two 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 two. See if that one works. Yeah, that one's in France. Some of these web pages will give you uh, uh, the uh, map as well of the location. And of course, there is whois.com, which if we went there and typed in 2.2.2.2 or whatever IP address is and say search, it'll probably give you the whois information or not. Maybe whois.org. Who is .net? Let's see. 2.2.2.2. Go. There we go. And it'll bring up the who is information. And of course, most of you will probably know that uh, you can do who is from the command line, which is probably how a lot of you use it. So who is 2.2.2.2. And we get the who is information here. And of course, you can see what country, France, right there, and um, who owns it, whether it's a company or a person, the address. Uh, that they put in when they uh, bought that uh, that server and of course you can use uh, server names other than just uh, IP addresses uh, and I'm like a lot of you probably already know all this but I ran across a little application today so I just thought I'd throw it out there show you guys this um, it should be in your repositories if you aptitude search uh, GOIP one of the options is uh, GOIP-BIN. Uh, so you can see, after she tells me right there, I have an I, so it's installed already. Once that's installed, part of that package is GOIP uh, lookup. And if you type that in with 2.2.2.2 or whatever IP address, uh, it just breaks it down for you a little bit cleaner and gives you the uh, country that it's in. So. Although who is is usually installed by default and this application is not and you could always grip through uh, Who is I just saw this and I thought it was neat the way that just gave a little simple output there um, Especially since uh, who is in most cases at least from what I've seen just gives you like the abbreviation for the country and of course FR is uh, France, but uh, maybe you don't know what some countries uh, abbreviation is you'll get some weird abbreviation you'll have to try to figure it out, but um uh, GOIP lookup gives you the full country name and I just thought I'd give you that little quick tip there we can do another one if you'd like let's do 3.3.3.3 and hit enter that's the United States let's just type in something random like 63243131123 and that one's in the US as well and of course you can do the who is with any of these and get even more information on uh, who owns it. So that's a GOIP lookup. I just found it interesting. Probably won't use it myself too much. Probably would use who is in regards to like the difference between that and using a site like this is, uh, you know, if you're writing a script, you, this site's not going to help you much unless you're going to wget stuff and pass it information. Always easier just to use it from the uh, tools you have. So I thank you for watching. Uh, this is just a simple little quick tip. Uh, interesting. I don't know if anyone's ever going to actually use this. <laughs> but thank you for watching. Uh, visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description to my website. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe because I put out videos all the time. And if you like uh, my videos, be sure to like the ones you like so I know what you like. Thanks for watching and have a great day.